Hey everyone, uh, it's Clayton here and today I'm just going to show my chameleon cage that I built. So I'm just going to quickly show like how I put it together. So it's basically what I did was build a frame and then I just put the doors on the front and screened it in. So there's my chameleon. I don't know if he, I'm pretty sure it's a male and below be a blue bar but the colors have changed quite drastically since uh, it's a baby. When it was a baby it was a lot more blue now it seems to have gone really red so I don't know. Um, yeah there is basically you build the frame it is uh, a, I took a 2x2 two two and uh, just basically cut it to 36 inches and then from there you are going to screw another 2x2 two two along to the other 2x2 two two that you cut to 36 inches and then when you're screwing it in you're going to want to use a lot of wood glue and uh, as you can see I just offset the uh, screws I put one lower and then one a bit higher uh, I can't even see the one here because I filled it over uh, with wood uh, filler but it is it's like a, just a little bit higher if you put it this one like up here and then this one down here uh, you should uh, friggin be able to screw in it properly I got like the size 6 screws that are 2 inches and uh, you can get like a two and a half inch or even three inches if you wanted which would probably hold it a bit better but it's, it's a very sturdy cage and uh, since I had a uh, skill saw and not a uh, circular saw the boards that I used on the bottom are actually uh, two by sixes because I had a 10 inch blade on my on my uh, band saw or skill saw whatever um, because I use the 2x6s for the floor and then just put like some cheap uh, plastic tiles on top of them and then silicone the edges. I should probably silicone the cracks as well just so no water gets underneath. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's probably better if you get like, there's like uh, stuff for sinks I'm pretty sure and they, they may do sell like larger pieces for the floor but you have to buy like glue and stuff like that for it. These ones were already like pre-glued so it's a bit easier but it's probably better if you buy just one big sheet. These ones have a crack right there. You can see they're different tiles that I cut. Just cheap ones. They're not actual tiles. They're like plastic. So yeah, I don't know. And then what you do after you have done that, went around and built all the edges, you have it all screwed together. Because these are nine, These are like uh, 16 inches or something. No, I think they're 15. I don't know. Whatever. The middle bar. And then after that, I don't know, you just build your door. I have a double door so that I can have one door open at a time. And uh, it's just pretty basic. I just wanted to do a quick and easy cage. I didn't want to do anything too insane, but I wanted it to at least be sturdy. And you can see I did the same to uh, build the doors. I may actually stain it, but I don't know. I don't want to really use a stain because, it, I don't know, it probably won't be good for my chameleon. But uh, yeah, that's the front door closed. Basically, to build the front door, I just built the door, but only built it to half the length. Like, pretty obvious. I don't know. It's just I just pretty much making this video to give you a general idea on uh, what you can do for your uh, chameleon cage if you're building one. It's not too hard. Basically, good. And then I don't know. I have hinges on it. Just hinge it up, and then you pretty much have your thing done. Other than that, you should be okay. Uh, I don't know, I really don't know what else I should put in here. I think that's just about everything that you're going to need to see. But yeah, I don't know, so if you have any questions, post them and uh, I'll be sure to answer them eventually. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, comment, rate, subscribe.